Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. New loading screen. We need to talk about what are the, all the hints and stuff that is hidden in this loading screen because there is big time information today with this. We, are, we know what leagues are coming next. We're getting the team of the season cards in rewards that is confirmed. And many other items are hidden in that loading screen as EA likes to do. Uh, in these recent promotions in FIFA. So we're gonna talk about that loading screen today and what market impacts this knowledge uh, has for us, all right? So we're gonna take a look at this really quick and then also talk about weekend league rewards because those are coming out here in a couple hours. Talking weekend league rewards, stuff that could go up on the market, and maybe a few, you know, worries that I might have about what parts of the market might not rise like we were originally thinking that they would. But let's talk about this first, right? Team of the season so far, we have the card design with the CDM Brazilian right here, which a lot of people are saying this is either Casemiro or Fernandinho. And there was a couple people saying that supposedly these Morse code uh, down here in the bottom left, something to do with Man City 5, Fulham 0, and uh, make, you know, kind of proving that this is actually Fernandinho. So not sure if that's true or not, but either it's Fernandinho it is um, Casemiro. I guess it could be Lucas Leva, but I don't think they would put that on the uh, the front screen. So that's clue number one. Clue number two, if you can see down here in the in the right hand side, we have the EFL logo and the community most consistent logo. This is the same logo that they had in the loading screen yesterday um, for the community or team of the season tots. So that means on Friday we're getting EFL and most consistent team of the season. And then up here in the top left, this is the biggest thing for us market guys, right? You see the Foot Champions Rewards logo. That means we are going to get Team of the Seasons in Red Picks again. Thank you, EA Sports. That is amazing. That's like the biggest thing that we needed uh, to complete this promo, right? You can have sweet uh, cards that are in packs. You can have good SBCs. You can have good objectives. Uh, but the Weekend League Rewards, since they did that last year, Team of the Season would definitely not live up to the hype if they didn't do that again this year. But they are, so that's a GG. Thank you, EA. Um, and then down here in the bottom right, this is actually uh, another little thing that I saw today. Supposedly, these are coordinates for somewhere in Nigeria. And that is signs pointing towards that we are getting a uh, Moses Simon team of the season card, which a lot of people have been looking forward to. And like, hey, if Moses Simon gets the most consistent tots, if he wins some of that voting, that would be sick. Uh, so yeah, basically that's all the information that we know from the loading screen and that was legit our only content on the day We didn't get any SBCs or anything else in the game uh, But we got some valuable valuable information if we go in here to foot champions and we actually look at the schedule I don't believe that it has been updated yet to uh, Contain team of the season cards, especially if you look at next week It still says ultimate team of the week and player pick special items uh, but I do believe they will end up changing this. I do believe they will end up changing this this week. I would assume they announce it on Friday. So it's technically after Foot Champion starts, but usually they announce this kind of stuff on Friday with the whole promotion. You know what they do with like the web page and stuff like that. So I would assume that we'll see this change a little bit later on in the week. Uh, but this, this means that we're probably gonna see more of a market rise in the coming weeks. Now, this week's rewards today will not be team of the season based. They'll still be team of the week based. You'll be getting cards from the, the team of the week that came out today. Your reds and your team of the week packs uh, will be locked to this team of the week right here, which isn't bad. I feel like this is the best set of team of the week moments that we have gotten so far. So GGDEA on this one. Uh, but I wanted to also throw in this as well. If you're trying to save your red player picks or your elite team of the, the week packs from rewards this week and expect to open them next week and get team of the season cards, that's not going to be the case because every single week those packs are locked to that week or they're locked to team of the week. Uh, so like your elite packs, you can't save those and get tots next week. It'll be locked to a team of the week. So uh, I do wanted to mention that some people were saying, hey, can I hold those? No, you can't. But this team of the week is solid. Uh, a Griezmann, a nice little Benzema, a Bamiyang. Parasitch position change is really cool. Uh, four star, five star. This is going to be a guy for like lower budgets that's probably going to do well for us during like Bundesliga team of the season. He's going to get a lot of pack supply though. And that's the thing like I, I kind of get bummed when I see a really cool team of the week like this when we have an upcoming promo. Uh, I get kind of bummed because I know they're going to get hit with lighting rounds and that sometimes hurts a card's rise out of packs. 
But of course, a Griezmann in form is cool. A, uh, a Roberto Firmino in form is cool. Um, Titi, I mean, that's our first in form for him this year, so that's kind of cool. Cool Bali as well, not bad in, in position change, uh, Javi Martinez. But we're not really here to talk about Team of the Week. We're here to talk about the rest of this market. What's going to happen today with rewards and with that new information that we have about Foot Champions rewards? Is that going to make the market go a bit higher uh, in the next couple of days? I think yes. I really do think it is going to make the market go a little bit higher. And today, interestingly enough, some of these headliners, man, I honestly think some people sell these cards uh, when they don't get into Team of the Week because they like for some reason every week they expect one of these headliners to get in. Uh, Lewandowski headliner dropped today. This Werner headliner dropped. He was like 430,000 coins. I bought one at 389. I think he's still right around 400k. Uh, you saw me buy the Salah as well. Salah was down like 50k from where he was yesterday. Uh, this inform was just down because it was low. And then Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum and Vardy. I bought all of these cards today uh, at their lowest. Like Vardy was 175 today. He's probably still... You know, it looks like he's still 185. Um, but this is like the perfect type of card that I would expect to rise with weekend league rewards because it's a lower budget. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about like lower budget here in a minute or so. But, you know, some of the headliners today dropped. Some of the just uh, overall special cards on the market dropped today, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, you can see we were at 108 points last night. We dropped down to 103, actually to 102 right now. We're, we're still at 102 points. Um, so I'm interested to see people selling some cards before rewards. Does this mean the market's not going to go up at rewards? I don't think it's saying that market's not going to go up. Um, but I'm a little bit skeptical as to how much the market could rise at rewards tomorrow. And the reason why I'm skeptical is um, just because I don't know how many people are actually going to be opening their rewards on the Thursday right before a new promotion in FIFA Ultimate Team. So I'm a little bit, you know, sussed out and a little bit, not not scared, but just a, a little bit cautious uh, because I don't know if all of these cards are going to rise tomorrow like we originally thought uh, on Thursday. You know, some of these cards are down, like Richarlison was 125, Vinicius was 430. Um, some of these cards are up a little bit too, but, you know, these cards are still fluctuating a decent amount. Uh, and I'm just a little bit scared again, not scared, I guess, but just a little hesitant as to how much the market will rise today. One thing's for sure though, right? There's a lot of people on this game right now. A lot of people that would, you would say are quote unquote casuals, right? And I would describe somebody a casual, uh, that it doesn't even know, uh, about FIFA YouTube or like maybe knows a couple FIFA YouTubers, doesn't really pay attention to it that much. You know, somebody who just kind of plays the game in their in their leisure time and doesn't, you know, get deep into trading or get deep into stuff like that, like we're doing if you're watching this video, a lot of those guys buy their teams after weekend league rewards and they either don't understand a promo screen, don't understand what's coming, uh, or they just they're just used to doing it every week, so they just continue to do it. That's those are the types of guys that I would see still buying some cards tonight. Uh, after week in league rewards because we see the upward trends in that market almost every single week the under 250,000 coin under 300k range on cards uh, is definitely a range where we see a lot of movement every week um, and that's where I would focus tonight if you're looking to get some last minute deals before rewards just look at meta meta prem cards especially if they're out of packs I know I'm looking at sun right now uh, he was 100k flat on like Sunday you know, I'm telling myself that I can, if I can find him at 105 with the shadow, then I'll do it because this guy's probably going to be upwards like 115, 116, 17, maybe even 120,000 coins, depending on how much the rise is tomorrow, especially with that Hunter Chem style. KDB with a Hunter at like 92, 93K is solid. You know, Conte at 125 with a shadow. Those are the types of gold cards that will rise every week. And you can still peruse around the market and look for out of pack special cards. Uh, like a Mateus Cunha, right? Uh, this guy was, you know, he's been like 220K all week. Maybe tonight you can snag one in the 200 lows, maybe like 205. And you could probably flip that card tomorrow for like 227 to 230, you know, and you're making yourself a decent amount of coins. I don't expect a huge rise in the market tonight. Uh, even though we have uh, the information that the team of the season cards are going to be in rewards, that would you know, you would think that would create some more demand for the market and for people to go out and buy some teams. But I'm not so sure that it's actually going to create demand that we will see the market rise after rewards. 
Uh, I just think people are going to be, people already have good and tradable teams. So I just think there's going to be more, there's just going to be more people playing weekend league now because of those team of season rewards. But I don't know if that really affects um, how stuff will go up on the market because I think so many people are saving packs for Friday that that really doesn't take too much of an effect. So again, if you're looking for some last minute buys tonight, I would keep it in the low range. Like this Ake was just 200,000 coins flat. He's up to 218 on a fluctuation. Uh, this Cornet, I think, bounces around between like high 40s and middle 50s a decent amount. Like he was 54,000 coins. He, he's barely dropped, bro. Some of these cards have barely dropped. He was 51K down to 47, up to 54. Uh, so some of these like lower tier cards, especially if they're Premier League, if, if they're really desirable, Florenzi at 148. This is the type of guy with, with his links. And it's a good looking card. He was 185 for the weekend. Went down to 147 at his lowest. And if you look at his daily graph, he's been between, you know, high 140s all the way up to about 160-ish, high 150s. So this could be a guy that goes to like 160 tomorrow. You know, look through some of these old team of the weeks. Get on open bids before rewards tonight. Future stars, I'm a big fan of these guys. Um, you know, after a little re rewards rise today but i don't think it's going to be a crazy rise you know i really don't feel like it's going to be a crazy rise from rewards even though we have this newfound info that we are getting team of the season to uh rewards which is big right like that's massive for next week we're really going to see the market effect of those cards and those rewards next thursday because that means next thursday in elite team of the week packs or elite team of the season packs there's people that are going to be pulling out team of the season cards from tots most consistent and efl and if there's anybody in there you know it's not going to be like they're doing prem right last year during during tots prem there were guys that made you know five six seven eight even some guys made 10 million coins from rewards last year i mean i can show you guys some of the graphs it makes sense why they're making so many coins and this is why we talk about the market really rising during team of the season is just because of the amount of coins that are put on the market from these rewards, right? So let's look at team of the season prem. Let me just put this into perspective for some of you guys who may not have been around last year or really understood what was happening. So look at look at this team of the season, right? Let's say you're getting elite rewards. You're getting a elite team of the season pack, or even if you're getting reds, but the, the biggest thing here is the elite team of the season pack. So, you know, the three players from the team of the season or the 11 players, uh, you know, whatever pack it is, whether you're a top 100 or just elite, but look at some of these guys' prices uh, first week, right? So these rewards are, would come out on Thursday. And you can see here, look when the market boomed. The market really, really boomed on, on Thursday. Look at Wednesday. This hazard was 2.8 mil. Uh, I do remember with rewards that these guys' prices, they took like a pretty big hit, like really late in rewards. Um, it was either panic selling leading into rewards or it was um, like right at rewards when everybody opened up these team of the season uh, elite player picks and then they just absolutely flew after that he was at 2.7 mil and he went all the way to 3 million 3.1 million coins on the weekend that's what you're gonna have with these cards and think about it man somebody could pack this hazard imagine they get top 100 bro and they get 11 of these cards you know it, it, of course it's gonna contain some cards from the um the um other league the lower level league but some of these guys were pulling three uh, team of the season prem cards out of their elite rewards uh, and you're getting let's say you pack an Ericsson who is like a middle tier card during team of the season that a lot of people packed boom you're getting 900,000 coins from that card right there let's say you pack Bernardo Silva that was like 500k and then let's say you, you look at the value of cards in this team like half of the team was over a million coins that first week Aguero 1.8 8 million coins going back over two. even guys on the bench sun was like two five how much was Mane? this is why we talk about the massive market rise on the on the top tier Mane was 1.2 mil and he rose to one six bro to one six a bomb yang was over a million coins i think lacazette was even like upwards of a mil he was close to it at least oh yeah my dude was one two went up to one five so this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see at rewards of course a lot of people packed madison ederson allison those guys that weren't worth that much, but just the opportunity and the amount of cards that are going to be put on the market and the amount of coins that that puts on and generates for the high tier on this game is crazy. It's really, 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 really crazy how many coins this brings onto the market at rewards um, 
at rewards time with the elite and the top tier market. And then after that, what we're going to see after rewards uh, next Thursday is the elite tier stuff is going to start rising even more. So that's why I'm thinking that after this weekend league, if you haven't bought any cards yet, that's going to be your time, right? Whatever content EA drops this weekend, let's say it's big time content, that's going to be your opportunity to get in on some of these cards if especially you're t you're looking at like a high, high tier for a birthday card a team of the year uh or something like a Lewandowski 96 who would be a pretty elite card this stuff is going to start rising in the next week because of all the coins that are going to be pumped onto this game through the rewards so that's that's the impact and that's the biggest thing that we wanted to see with team of the season and it is coming it's guaranteed and confirmed so i'm stoked about that some people have asked if they're going to use this design um, for the red player picks. And uh, I don't think that last year in FIFA 19, they had like the team of the season design in red for the red player picks. Can you imagine this in red? That'd be freaking insane. It'd be dope. I don't know if EA is going to end up doing that though. I think it'll just look like a normal red informed version of a card. Uh, that you already have on FIFA. So that's a little bit unfortunate. You won't have the cool car design, but these cards will be in red picks as well, man. So you could um, you could get, I think it's gold two. Last year you had to get gold two, and we'll be able to clarify this once we get um, the actual schedule released. I think they had gold two as the rank that was set for you to get guaranteed players from the first team. So I think you had to get your, your 17 wins of gold two to get guaranteed players from the upper level league. And if you got anything lower than that, you would get a team this season player above a certain rating, uh, but it, what you weren't guaranteed to get one from the Prem. So uh, gold two is what everybody started to kind of be working for last year during team of the season. So again, people are gonna be playing the full weekend. And that's something to kind of remember. We might see more of a weekend league sell off instead of it being on Saturday afternoon and Saturday night uh, or Saturday evening UK time. It's probably gonna be more of a Sunday sell off uh, for the next couple weeks because of just the fact that people are going to be playing more games to try to hit that threshold, whereas they would usually maybe stop at uh, 14 wins or maybe just 20 wins if you're an elite player. Now you're probably going to play it out to at least 23 so you can get yourself that elite pack and get some tradable team of the season. So that's something that is going to change this market and change this game a lot. It's going to bring a lot of hype to this game in the next couple days but i wanted to make this video tonight for you guys talking you through some of those stuff if you're doing weekend league flips good luck uh you should see i still think we'll see a decent market rise today not a crazy one but i think it should be a decent one especially on that lower tier budget i'm still gonna probably buy a few more cards tonight uh but i don't think i'm gonna go crazy man i really don't think i'm gonna go crazy uh and then we'll be maybe looking for some panic on friday morning as team of the season does actually come so i'm super duper excited for that one if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace out